I am the Midnight Watchman down at Miller Tool and Die, and I watch the metal rusting, and I watch the time go by. Week ago at the diner, I stopped in for a bite, and this here lovely lady, she sat two seats to my right. Now she was so damn beautiful that she'd warm a winter's frost, but she looked long past lonely and nigh on kind of lost. Now I'm not much of a mover or a pick em up easy guy, but I thought I'd glide on over and give it one good try. Tongue-tied like a schoolboy, I stammered out some words. I don't think it mattered much, cause I don't think she heard. She just looked right through me, had a space inside my head, and it chained me into silence, as quietly she said. If you want me to come with you, why, that's all right with me. Cause I know I'm going nowhere, anywhere's a better place to be. I drove her to my boarding house, took her up to my room, and went to turn on the only light to brighten up the gloom. But she said, don't turn the light on, I don't mind the dark. And as her clothes all tumbled round her, I could hear my heart. The moonlight shone around her as she lay upon her my bed. It was the kind of scene I only had imagined in my head. I just could not believe it. To think that she was real, and when I tried to tell her, she said, Shh, I know just how you feel. The morning came so swiftly as I held her in my arms, and she slept like a baby, secure and safe from harm. I did not want to share her, or risk to break the mood and so I left before she woke to get us both some food. I came back with my paper bag to find that she was gone. She left a six-word letter. It's time that I moved on. The waitress took the bar rag, wiped it across her eyes, and when she spoke, her voice came out as something like a sigh. Oh, I wish that I were beautiful, or that you were halfway blind. I wished I wasn't so goddamn fat, I wish that you were mine. And I wish that you'd come with me when I leave for home, for we both know... Lots about emptiness and living all alone. And the little man looked at the glass in his hand, and he smiled a crooked grin and said, I guess I'm out of gin, and both of us have been so lonely. And if you want me to come with you, why, that's all right with me, cause I know I'm going nowhere. Loving someone is a better place to be.